Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video from Cloud9 ERP Solutions. In this video, we're going to talk about expense receipts and how to capture one on your mobile device. Now, if you search through our videos, you'll find we've gone over this once before. But with Acumatica's advanced expense receipts, can recognize the receipt and fill in a lot of the information for you, making expense receipt capturing much quicker. So just to set this up, right now we're looking at our expense receipts here in the Acumatica Web ERP. So right now we're looking at Acumatica through web browser. And what we can see here is a list of expense receipts. So if we go into one of them, you could see lodging during training, flight to on-site training. We click on one, we can open it up and see the information of what we're trying to capture here. So we have a date, we have an expense item. These are non-stock items that you classify as expenses in the system. So this is one of the categories, hotels and lodging. You can see who claimed it. You can see the description as well as if there's a quantity, the total cost, if the employee is paying part of it, and the total amount when you use the quantity times unit cost. You can also see information like what project and task it's attached to. And if this expense receipt has been rolled into an expense claim, you'll see that here. And lastly, you can see what your employee used to pay for this. So it could be corporate card. You could set those up in Acumatica. We have a video on that. Or it could be a personal credit card. Either way, this helps to set the stage for allocating your expenses to the right project. But it also sets the way for reimbursing your employees for their expenses and reconciling your corporate credit cards. Because all those entries, you can see them against the corporate card expenses. And you'll be able to allocate them. Because in Acumatica, you can download all the credit card transactions into the system and then compare them against all of these expense receipts. So it's easy to reconcile as well. So if we go back and then we take a look at our mobile app, I've gone through the menus and brought myself to the expense receipts. Now you can see that I'm filtered on all. If I select that, I can see all of the different filters that I also see here, but I want to see all of them. Also notice all of the expense receipts that I'm seeing in this list also are here in the Acumatica web browser. Now, keep in mind that our mobile app is real time. There's no synchronization, there's no updating later on, and there's no need for being out of date because you're always getting the latest and greatest information. So if I were to open up this expense receipt, the one we just looked at, you can see similar information about this expense receipt and the total amount and all of that. You can even add the record to the favorite. That's a new feature in the Acumatica mobile app within the last year or so. Now, if we go back and we hit the camera button, this gives us the ability to capture an expense receipt in the field. So if we pick up our phone and we Take a picture here. The first thing we can do here is change the borders and crop it. Just in case Acumatica doesn't do a good job. Normally it does, but you have the ability to change it. Notice it's highlighted only the receipt. So we're not capturing anything additional. If we click done, Acumatica has the attachment in the upper left hand corner and it gives us the ability to put in our information. So for example, we could say Walmart receipt. We could pick an expense item. These you can configure yourself. We could select a project if we need to. Any project that's active, any project that we have the accessibility to. So as an employee, we're only set up for certain projects, no problem, we'll only get that filter list. Is this billable to a customer, of which case we can select the customer? And what's the total amount? And we could save this. 
So we have this receipt in there. However, Acumatica's advanced expense module gives you the ability to automatically recognize this. So if we go back and we enable that feature, this is a licensed feature. You need to contact your partner. And we look down through the features. So we click on modify and we scroll down. Over here, we have a checkbox for image recognition for expense receipts. Now, of course, we require that license. So you need to have that license. If you don't have advanced expense time management, then check with your partner. But if we check this box and we hit enable, I'll just go back to our expense receipts list here. We can see it. And then we go back to our mobile app and we could see a list of the expense receipts here. If we hit the camera button this time, take a picture of the Walmart Superstore. Again, Acumatica gives us the opportunity to crop it. We'll hit done here. And you could see this time Acumatica recognizes it. It's going through this receipt and it's looking at all the different components, the different areas, regions of the receipt. And what it's done for us is it's filled out the description, used the name at the top of the receipt for it. It filled in the date for us and it filled in the amount. So essentially we need to pick our expense item, in this case, again, office supplies. We can go down, pick up any additional information we want, such as how did we pay for it? Personal account, corporate card, or maybe a personal credit card, or maybe a corporate card, but this is for a personal expense. And then when we're done, we can hit save. So we essentially have the same thing, only in this one, we had to pick all the information. You could see the first receipt I did, I picked the wrong date, by the way. It was October 17, 2020, that the date of that receipt was. And if we go back to Acumatica and we refresh, we could see the new receipt here. We could either open it up from here and take a look at the attachment, or we can go over here, click on files, click on the button here, and you could see the copy of the receipt. So now that the expense receipt is in the system, from the mobile app, I can go back and I could select claim all if I want to claim everything. I can go backwards though. I can go to expense claims, create a brand new one. Give it a description such as claims for the week. And then down at the bottom, I can hit add receipts and check off the receipts that are applicable that have not been added to claims. So if I wanted to add both of these, of course, this is a duplicate. I'll hit the checkbox here. I'll go back. And now I have a claim total. Of course, 54, 54 is 27, 27 doubled. But I have this expense claim. If I need any other information, I can do that. I can save it. I can submit it and essentially I'm submitting this for approval. Now, I'm Maxwell Baker, I'm the user that's logged in right now. So notice I have the approve button, I can approve it myself. But if we go back, we go to time and expenses and click on expense claims, we can see our new expense claim and it's pending approval. Now this will show up under expense claims, of course, you can see it right here. But it also shows up in a screen called approvals. So everywhere there are pending approvals in Acumatica, they show up under this approval screen. So that could be anything. That could be anything from an invoice approval to a change order to a purchase order that needs approval. In this case, it's an expense claim. Now my approvals myself Show, for example, some engineering change logs. This is for our manufacturing. But I don't see that one there. And if I go back to the expense claim and I open it up, and I go to approvals, you can see that Layla was tasked for approving this. Again, this is part of our approval map. Because of 
who this expense claim is for, and because of any other criteria, such as the amount, this is who's been tasked to do this approval. If I go back to approvals and I go to all records, I can see here it is right here and it hasn't been approved. There's some other approvals here that are red because they're overdue. But if I go back to the mobile app and I look at expense claims, you can see which ones are on hold, which ones are pending approval. So from here, I can go into this. And again, because I'm an admin and because I'm situated at the top of the company tree, I'll just show you the company tree and what it looks like. In Acumatica, the company tree allows you to set up different employees in different hierarchy. So because I'm ahead of Layla, I can make approvals for her. So Maxwell Baker is here. And if we go back to our expense claim, we can see that Layla is part of the finance work group. We go over here and we click on finance. You can see Layla's here along with Maxwell Baker. But again, you'll notice Maxwell Baker is in the tree right above her. So once again, if I go back here and I open it up, I have the ability to approve it. And when I go back to Acumatica and I refresh, you can see that it's now approved. Again, this is all real time. There's no batching or syncing or anything like that. And then at this point, accounting can go through and release all these expense claims. And as I mentioned earlier, the expense claims, they do a couple of different things. First off, if there's money due, you saw the settings under each expense receipt where what is the part that the employer pays and what is the part that the employee pays. So based on all that, the claim total and the amount here can create a transaction that accounts payable to pay out the employee. But also this, based on the payment method, the credit card, this will help you reconcile. So when we release, a couple of things are happening here. So if we go back to financials, and if we go over to the financial tab, you can see the different transactions here and you can open them up. So this was a cash purchase in the system. And from here, of course, we can go through and put this together. This can roll into payroll or into accounts payable check. So that's it. That's expense receipt recognition. You saw the image processing that it did. It automatically filled in a lot of the information on the receipt. But we took you through a little bit of the process, the entire workflow in case you found this video and you didn't want to go to the other video to understand how our expense receipt system and claim work, you now got a, the bigger picture. So thanks again for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.